been a solid six to eight months since we've worked on this M3 rally car and I'm sick of not working on it, to be honest with you. It's like a daunting thing, you know, it's like in the back of your head all the time. You have a task or a project that you really want to finish. Well, I'm gonna try and make it a point to work on this car a little bit every week. I'd say a little bit every day, but that's, that's pushing it. So a little bit every week and until it's done, and hopefully we'll be doing some stage racing in early to mid 2022 so today I just came in and after digging it out from way over there spent about an hour and a half moving all these cars around I um, never did finish welding all the door bar gussets in so I did that Cage is all MIG welded, but I take the door bar gussets in because they're really thin, and I just don't like the look of a big MIG weld on uh, on these little tiny gussets. And I did those over there a long time ago, and from this thing sitting for so long, it's it had uh, surface rust all over it, and uh, Ryan sanded it all off for me. Next up is going to be these gussets here uh, that I have to fabricate myself. And then uh, I can do the seat mounting tubes that are span across here. And then I can do the harness bars. And I think we can finally paint the interior. I need to decide if I'm going to do a intrusion bar that goes from here to the firewall. Or if I'm going to try and sneak something up into the strut tower. While Ryan and I have been working on the cage stuff, drop the rear subframe out. We are going to reinforce force it also strip it down clean it put our solid bushings in we have like a welded 391 in it right now but we're going to switch to lsd it's come to my attention that lsd is going to be a lot better in the gravel and that does kind of make sense so we're going to try that out um, we're going to sell this 391 welded i got another 391 and i'm going to use the diff out of the m3 the stock M3 carrier, put a couple extra clutch discs in it, uh, we'll probably make another video about that process. We're also going to clean up and paint these trailing arms, we got new bushings for those, and we got new control arms as well so we can get rid of this stuff. Got a pretty exciting shipment here, crate from Samsona's Motorsport, Woo. let's see what's going on in here. These are our Samsona's Motorsport shocks for the E36. Uh, these are the less expensive of two different models they make. They make a three-way adjustable model with external reservoirs. And these are what they call the cup spec, which is just a one-way rebound adjustable shock. A uh, cool thing about the Samsona's shocks, or something that I thought was pretty valuable, was that uh, all the internals are made by Olins, and if you're familiar with Olins, uh, quite the pedigree in very high quality motorsport dampening. So it was good to know that uh, parts are readily available and that the internals are of the best quality. Uh, so parts are available stateside, rebuilds and all can happen right here in the United States, which is great. They can also be upgraded, so when I want to upgrade these to the three-way, once I get some more experience under my belt, I'll be able to do that as well. You can see the offset top hat in the rear, and that allows space, because it's not a coilover from the factory on the E36, and so to make room, they offset this. This is uh, somewhat common um, on the high-end shocks I've seen, so uh, you don't have to change the strut tops to mount them as that mount is offset. So originally when we started this project we were going to plug the sunroof, right? Because we don't need a sunroof in a race car. But the original plan was not to make it a, ra a rally car. Uh, it was just going to be like a road course and drift car. And so we purchased this fiberglass sunroof plug for it, which is really convenient and super lightweight. 
but Rally America rulebook says that we have to use a metal sunroof plug and we already threw that one out but luckily came across this one on Facebook marketplace so I bought one after throwing it out pretty annoying but it was cheap because these things aren't really worth anything so I need to extract just the metal panel from the rest of this thing so Malik told me a couple screws and some finesse and I don't know if he meant use a pry bar, but a pry bar worked for me. And this is still intact, along with removing a couple screws. So I'm gonna peel all this plastic stuff off of it and whatever's left. And this has like multiple layers. I'm gonna look into maybe just getting down to that one layer maybe and see what that looks like. So after not spending too much time on this sunroof panel, I did get it down to eight pounds and a few ounces. Uh, it actually just said seven pounds, 10 ounces, and well, it got heavier somehow, but saved a little weight out of it. I'm still not happy about it, but uh, Rally America rules say it's gotta be a steel roof if the roof was steel, or the rules say metal, but uh, I was told by a, tech inspector to make it out of steel just to be safe we got the subframes and the trailing arms all painted up ryan did that for me um used uh steel it black on the subframe took it down to close to bare metal reinforced the diff mounts here just plated them in put uh, some solid bushings in it uh, also painted the trailing arms with steel it as well we put uh, monoball bearings in here and replaced the uh, monoballs for the control arms on the trailing arm as well. Installed some extended studs. Uh, we got the front knuckles, gave them a little freshen up too, and installed the studs. And we got new OEM control arms. I got these from FCP Euro, a lifetime warranty, which is pretty neat. So, making small small progress here and there. That's all we've got for this second episode. It's been a year and a half and only the second episode or second video on the E36 M3 rally car. But there's gonna be more, I'm sure of it. The car really doesn't need that much. So after this, we gotta do brakes. Obviously after the interior stuff, uh, fabrication we gotta finish, paint the cage. We gotta do safety stuff and under hood, we have some work to do. I want to replace a lot of the hoses. And we got to do all the new brakes, brake master cylinders, install a handbrake, new shifter, and some other odds and ends. But uh, all that's for another video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.